All right, so now what we're going to do is try to find some of the metal fittings to hook onto the gray plastic line and feed a rubber line from the gray plastic line to the filter housing to see if the pickup tube in the tank is cracked, causing the leak and air coming into the fuel system. start running rough sometimes it won't start or it'll just shut off on you uh, you can watch in the water separator all the air bubbles just bubbling it's not a constant stream of fuel sitting in there it's a whole bunch of air bubbles popping up sitting in there. So it shouldn't wait because this is going to be sucking. It should just suck through and go right to the housing, right? It should, but once again, the diameter of that line, like you said earlier, it might be wrong. But, I mean, we'll give a shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Ready? Yep, yep. Doing the same thing, I would assume uh, 
you know, the, the pickup tube in the tank. Uh, could be some type of damage to that. Those are welded in. Because now we got it directly connected from uh, fuel tank to fuel filter housing, right? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. I mean, that's on that pipe, but I'm I mean, not put my hand around and squeeze while we're going to give them that. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of pivot to these tanks. Yeah. But I will find it over the tank. Unless you got a board scope. I don't have any fuels in there. I don't want to get the head of the horse in the fuel. Yeah. look in there. Did we blow back? I blew in it and uh, Alex said it looked like it was a gray one. I blew it. He stuck a, a, a spot gun down there. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely doing the exact same thing with how it's hooked now. That's directly from the tank to filter base. Does it be coming in? That layer going through the PCM. Is yeah. it eventually making its way? I see down in the tank here. Yeah. 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 It's going to be hard with that neck. Yeah, it's because, uh, thank you. What? You got my drive on socket? Where you at? I'm not signed in for this combustible. I That should be your feed line coming out there. It's uh, bubbling from underneath. Um, I'd go ahead and see if we can. Where's the. That's your gray. That's your feed into the manifold. And then we got it going over to the filter base. I mean, the only other thing we could do to rule out that line completely would be go off the top of the damn tank. Like take uh, take that line off the top of the tank, run the line from the tank all the way directly to there. That way we'd be getting rid of all possibilities of the line steeping. It would be easier if we have just these things itself and these kind of regular like half inch hose or mm -hmm. hose and just down all the Which we have them, I can grab you a couple of those. Just like maybe 290s. Yeah. That way we can also get a smaller diameter yeah, line. Yeah. I think that might be special. Because it's not a real big high pressure. Yep. So yeah, let's uh let's work on that real quick. Let me get you some of these lines and that way we can hook them up and try to go from tank to filter base. Uh, that way we're gonna cut out all the middle work of possibility of a line leaking. Because this is still on the connection as well. But yeah, at the end of this, if it's the, the guy's uh, pickup tube in the tank, you know, unfortunately, yeah, that would be a point in the tank. Okay. What we found was when we connected the rubber line to the fuel filter housing, that it was still acting the same way. So what we're going to do is to try to get a smaller diameter hose and feed it directly from the tank to the water fuel separator housing to see if the pickup tubes is actually cracked. So that's what we're going to do. A few moments later. So we figure out the issue with the truck. We found out that there's an issue in the fuel manifold 
So what we're going to do is tell the customer either we can replace the manifold or just run a fuel line from the tank straight to the water fuel separator housing just to get them back up on the road. Then later on they can replace the fuel manifold if they want to, but for now it's just what the customer wants and that's what we're going to do. So like and subscribe.